G'day folks, well for this afternoon's little project I'm going to build a uh, redneck oil pump mainly for recovering hydraulic oil out of the uh, injection moulding machine and uh, I'm going to use a rather old, somewhat leaky old hydraulic pump uh, not really serviceable for hydraulic use but it should work just fine as a transfer pump it's a gear type pump and it does still work, it just leaks out through the shaft seal and everything like that. I tried it a couple of years ago and then shelved it. Uh, I'm also using a 24 volt DC motor and I have a speed controller unit somewhere else that will couple up at the end. This one's not too bad. You know, I've tested it. I think the bearings are just noisy, it's been for a bit of a swim like a lot of these ones that I find. Uh, yeah, so I'm just basically going to put little legs on each part, bolt them to the piece of wood and couple it together using a bit of uh, radiator hose or something similar like that. A bit of parallel heater hose. That's all I really need. I'm not building back pressure, I'm just transferring fluid. So hose clamps and a piece of hose joining the two together is enough of a flex coupling to do the job essentially. Should be pretty easy. Okay, so I've got the pump bolted in, I've bolted and screwed, and uh, that's all I'm using, a bit of heater hose, off cut, and it uh, should work quite well. It's got to go anti-clockwise, looking at it from the drive end. There's even an arrow on the pump housing indicating the direction of rotation, so that fluid comes out of the high pressure port. Um, as for the motor end, I'm trying to find a little adapter that I made a while ago. It's just a 20mm sleeve with a key slot in it that fits over these shafts but I can't find it so I'm thinking I'll just stuff the hose over the uh, keyed shaft and use it as it is. It doesn't really matter, it's going to be a very crude and short lived project. I'm going to dismantle it afterwards. Anyway, let's uh, space this motor up using washers and whatever I can find. And uh, yeah, line it all up, clamp the uh, flexible coupling on and should be good to go. Okay, well, I'll have to wait until a later date before I can uh, test it with uh, oil, but 600 watts is a hell of a lot of power to do, well, transfer. So I've got 24 volts, a couple of old golf buggy batteries, I've got speed control and I've got direction, so we're going to go reverse and dial up the speed. There we go. Yeah, the rubber's just r rubbing against the motor housing. Forty percent. Fifty. Sixty. Let's spray some oil in there just to keep it happy. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem at all. <laughs> I like it. The motor's a bit, well, floppy, but I'll stick a uh, block of wood under there with some PVA on it and just glue it in place just to prop the back of the motor up. But it works quite well. A proper, uh, it's made by Drive Systems Milano, Italy. It's a decent motor. Got a few of them floating around at the moment. Anyway, next step is to, uh, well, not related to this one, is to try this controller on that starter motor over there. I want to make an electric bike, and that is a decent big truck starter motor. So either I use a small DC controller, MOS, or it would be a um, yeah MOSFET based speed controller, or I um, build something myself, or get Alex to build something. Yeah, big starter motor on a uh, Yamaha RT125 chassis. Good fun. <laughs> Probably using those two batteries or bigger ones, a couple of 40 amp hours. I think they're both 18 amp hour, but we can go bigger. Everything's better when it's bigger. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oil pump's pretty much finished. 
and we'll use it to drain some oil out of this when I get time to start stripping it down assuming I don't get the pump working in time but either way I want to see the uh, 10 horsepower motor out of this thing in the Nissan Micra I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do with that car I'm going to pull the gasoline engine out and we'll go full AC electric using a variable frequency drive awesome we'll just need to buy some nickel metal hydride batteries and it should be fun anyway thanks for watching okay let's see how we go I just did made the motor turn maybe 20 times and it's already pulled oil up to here so priming should not be an issue just the outlet was a bit small but we'll give it a go Yeah, it's working. About 55%, 60%. I don't know what's in the bottom of the drum, so I'm trying to avoid hitting it. <laughs> avoid the sludge. Past halfway, that was full. Yeah, it's about there. Mm. Down to about there. Still got a third of the drum left, a quarter of the drum. getting close to the bottom. I'm not going to hit the bottom of that drum because that's going to have crap in it. It's been settled for a while. It's starting to rain. No leaks. Yeah, not bad. If I put back pressure on it, that seal would start spewing, but it seems to be holding up okay. Hmm. If the drum's light enough, I can just pick it up and dump the rest into a funnel. That's not a problem.
Oh, well, that's that. Thanks for watching. It's going to be a handy little tool. I'll just have to run some uh, clean oil through it just to get rid of the carbonised stuff before I use it for recovering reusable oil, but that's easy enough.